Hey guys, this is I, Troll at Ix with Rollout Reviews doing another Let's Build. This time it is Stroke Orochi. Strike Cobra is absolutely one of my favorite Beatamon from Crossfire. Definitely in the top three, right next to Lightning Device and Lightning Scorpio. He's just a really fun Beatamon to uh, fire. Great control type. So, high hopes for Stroke Orochi. He doesn't have the chrome core, but we'll probably live without it. I've already cut the tape on this, so let's crack it open. Seems like everybody wanted me to build all of the Crossfight Beatamon I have, so I suppose I'll do it. Hey, more videos, more content. More content that evidently you guys want to see, so that's great. Once again, one of the earlier crossfight starters. He's a snaky snake. Wow, his core is a lot more um, translucent y than I was expecting. It's kind of a thin plastic. Uh, well, maybe it's just the color of it. Maybe it's sort of translucent. Very cool, very cool. Nothing really new going on here, aside from his like elongated trigger and piece back here. Once again, this is one of the uh, first run releases that has the arcade sticker. And, uh, well, that's about it. So, let's put it together. There's his stickers. <laughs> let's actually get the Bidama out. So we don't have to do it later. There we go. Put that over there. So, let's jump right in, I suppose. Start by building the core. I hope you all know I'm pulling myself away from Transformers Universe to do this. The things I do for you people. <laughs> I have absolutely just, since I made that uh, request video, um, I have just been flooded with friend requests. And I mean, it's, it's cool. You know, I have played with a couple of you, you guys, and, and that's awesome. But uh, I, I don't know. I, honestly, at this point, I'm going to say, like, for me to accept your friend invite, you're going to have to send me a message. And, and one thing I didn't take into account when I made that initial video is that I have to be online for you to send me a message. So if you sent me a message and I wasn't online, um, then I didn't accept your friend request. So um, make sure, you know, like I'm on and then send me a message and then I'll add you from that point. But at this point, my request inbox is full of like 37 requests and, and I just don't know how to deal with all of that. Um, I think at some point in the future, maybe like in a month or so, um, after I have a ton of friends on my list, I'm gonna go through and probably uh, flush out all the ones that like don't play because I mean I fully assume some people are going to uh, you know play the game and, and just straight up not like it so then they'll stop playing and and then I'll, I'll go through them and uh, sort of just delete the ones that that aren't playing anymore so that I don't have you know a friends list full of like 30 people that aren't even playing the game but that's just how it is Yeah, and as for that uh, refer a friend competition thing, um, I don't know what what's going on. Um, like, I I didn't end up on the leaderboards, but I know that I had like just as many as the lowest people on the leaderboard. I think the highest person had like 17, which is great. I know I didn't actually get that many people um, signed up. 
and actually got to level five. Because the thing is, is you had to sign up, but you also had to get to level five. I n there, the lowest was seven people. And I'm sure that I got at least seven people recruited um, and to level five. The problem is the recruit a friend page for me was not working. Just wasn't loading, straight up wasn't loading. I had like 30, 40 people, honestly, waiting to get to level five. And I had, at the time that it started, well, not working, I had like five people recruited and to level five. And then it just stopped working and didn't work for the whole day. They said they were doing site maintenance. And so they, they said, you know, I, I contacted them and I said, hey, why isn't this working? And they said, oh, we're doing site maintenance. Once that's over, it should work. After site maintenance, it still didn't work. So they're, they said they're gonna get a technician and try to figure out what my problem was. But honestly, if, if after they get this technician and, and it starts working, the website starts working again, and I have seven or more people recruited, I'm gonna be kind of ticked off, you know? Like, if I only have like six, or honestly, if I only have seven, cause probably, you know, some other person could have had seven before I did, then I'll be pretty angry. I'll feel really, really, uh, sort of, what's the word? Cheaped out, I guess, I don't know. I can't think of the word right now. <laughs> Oh well. But yeah, that'll be that'll be kind of cheap, I think. Like if if they just sort of, I was blown off just because the website wasn't working for me. Oh well. Well, I mean, even though that competition is over, honestly, still sign up. You know, like still sign up we, again. Like we can play together and, and and whatnot. I still get benefits from from recruiting people, even if I I am not. Um, in that competition, you know, even if I didn't place in that competition. So, I mean, whatever. Honestly, I care more about uh, playing with people who watch my videos than, than uh, winning a prize or something like that, you know? So that's cool. Anyway, hey look, beat him on. <laughs> Transformers? What's Transformers? Is that some kind of marble shooting toy I haven't heard of? Hmm. Again, he's got the uh, barrel pieces that we're not going to need right now. I actually did order uh, some more barrels. Actually, like, now that I have all of the CrossFight starters, I went, you know, well, I have all the starters. What tune-up gear don't I have? And I have almost every single tune-up gear, too. So I'm like, eh, I should probably just finish that up, too. And I noticed... Like, some of the only ones I didn't have were all of the other barrels. The only barrel I have is the convert barrel and the uh, barrel from this guy, um, from Crossfire, and, and that's it. So I actually ordered three barrels, the straight barrel, the d d uh, aiming barrel, I don't remember what it's called, the blue barrel with the green thing on it, and also the, uh, the, the, the other one, the grip barrel, yeah. I, you can't expect me to remember the names of these things. Anyway, let's put together his head. This is weird. Huh. It's interesting. I've actually never seen like a head go together that way. I have to say, like, uh, Strike Cobra is one of the beat -em on that I really have a hard time um, believing that his eyes are actually the visor in his mouth. Just because his eyes up here are so prominent, it's like, that just looks like his face, and he looks super silly. But, you know, like, these beat -em on 
have have visors and they're the mouth of the animal but uh with this guy specifically i just have a hard time believing that fortunately there aren't any like spaces cut out for his eyes so in this case i think it's a lot easier to see his visor like as his actual eyes but oh well Something I'm also noticing too is that the plastic on the Takara version is a lot less like translucent than the uh, the Hasbro version. This has like a weird, clear, translucent-y um, look to it. Uh, it's actually very similar to what the Takara version's core looks like. Maybe I should put the Hasbro body set on the, the Takara core and then it could be all semi-translucent. <laughs> Okay, now these pieces go on the legs. Oh, other one. There we go. Ta-da! Actually, I'm gonna have to pull this apart so we can attach the head on. I mean, we could just snap it on, but again, these early crossfight beat them on. Uh, have a tendency to stress that back bar if we do that so might as well be safe then sorry oh dang it I didn't take the uh, bolts out yet or the tool See, like, the plastic they use on the sprues for the, the bolts and, and all of the, the orange parts here, um, it seems very consistent through all the beat -em on kits that, like, the plastic for this sprue is always a little more brittle. Um, and on one hand, I like it because it's easy to, like, pull, pull the pieces off, you know? On the other hand, it's the sprue that the bolts are on, which means the bolts could break a lot easier. And, uh, yeah, I'm not too sure about that, but oh well. Come on. It's always scary sort of breaking in those bolts. Like, the first time you tighten it up and lock everything together, um, you gotta sort of be very careful. Because sometimes it just doesn't want to go, and you sort of just have to wiggle it into place. See, like, it cracked a little. It made, like, a cracking sound a little bit as I turned it. It's like, ooh, did that break? And you never know until you pull it out. But it's just fine. It's fine. It's not broken. Good. Good, good, good. There we go, and come on, and there we go, load in the Bidama, put on the back cover, which I really like, the way it, you know, goes flush with the little snake Cobra things on the side. That looks really good, his back cover. Anyway, there he is. You got all your extra pieces over here, and he is ready to go. So, here he is with Strike Cobra. Once again, we will compare the two in the actual review, but until then, that is about it. So, this is IX Troll at IX, signing off.